we've said that the standards were based on, uh, that the principles that we used in writing the standards were focus and coherence. I want to talk about what we mean by coherence. I'm a mathematician, and to me, mathematics makes sense. It's all part of one structure that's connected, that works. You can see why the individual pieces fit together the way they do. You can see how ideas logically flow from previous ideas or previous understandings you had. So often, uh, as a university professor teaching kids who come into college, I see that that's not their understanding of mathematics. And I'm not just talking about the ones that are weak mathematically. I'm talking about students that are, in some sense, very strong, in the sense that they can uh, do all the things they've been asked to do. But they don't see the subject as making sense. They don't see it as efficacious. They don't think of mathematics as something they can use. They don't see why it all fits together. So for example, you might have students who can do lots of things in algebra, lots of different manipulations. They can expand algebraic expressions, they can factor algebraic expressions, they can solve equations. But it's as if every time they do it, they've, they're drawing on some other learned behavior. They're not seeing that the underlying principles that they've learned about the properties of operations could really guide them in learning, in, in remembering how to do things. It's, they have their heads stuffed full of lots of things they've memorized, but they don't have those few simple principles that would mean they didn't have to memorize them because they'd understand uh, where they come from and why they work. So mathematics to a mathematician is something that keeps coming together, that gets unified, things that seemed to be different ideas um, later on in your learning become one unified idea. Uh, and I wa we wanted students to understand that. We wanted to see it not as a subject that keeps branching out and getting more and more complicated. There's more stuff to learn. We wanted them to learn that mathematics is something you can begin to unify under the umbrella of a few principles. And a good example of that is the way we built the flows towards algebra. One of the things that we were struggling with when writing standards is by definition almost, standards are a list of discrete bullets, and, but that's not the way the subject is. The subject has all sorts of higher order structure in it connecting those pieces. And so we, we tried to design into the standards some of, some of these higher order structures. And one of those was this idea of a flow. Uh, if you read the standards carefully, you'll see in the way they're worded, in the way they're organized, a progression from one grade level to the next, which is meant to indicate a flow of ideas. Uh, Going back to algebra, an example of those flows coming together is the three number and operations domains in elementary school, that is operations in algebraic thinking, uh, number and operations in base 10, uh, and the fraction domain that starts in grade 3, all come together in middle school into two domains. The operations and algebraic thinking domain leads into work with expressions and equations in middle school. And those two uh, number and operations in base 10 and fraction domains, the one about whole number computation and the one about computation with fractions, flow together into a single unified understanding of the number system in middle school. So that kids no longer think that fractions are somehow different from whole numbers. They see that they're all part of the number system and the numbers sit on the number line and that these are numbers you can work with uh, as sort of one single system. That's a very important preparation for algebra. And then those two domains in middle school, the work with symbolic expressions and equations, and then just the facility with the rational number system flow together in high school into this algebra domain. So that's an example of what I mean by the mathematics coming together and being unified. It's also an example of what I mean by a higher order structure that's been built into the standards.